Hi everyone, my name's Matt and I work on the customer success team here at Figit. Today we're going to look at the planning grid, we're going to be looking at the global date selector, actuals versus forecast, tools for entering forecast data, and the account schedules page. Let's check out how this looks on the farm. So you can see here I'm in my planning grid, which is located under planning, planning grid. And at the moment I'm in 2021 with actuals only. So you've got your global date settings up here and what you can do is toggle between the years and you can toggle between the settings for a mixture of actuals or actuals and forecasts with actuals to a specific date. So let's move over to this next tab and I'm looking at the 2022 year with the mixture of actuals and forecast and actual set to last month. And as I'm recording this in November, actual set to last month will pull the actuals to date through to October 2021. So what we're looking at here is the first four months of actuals and then the rest of the year is forecast. So we can forecast against those cells here. Any of these blue links are clickable and they will take you directly through to the transaction in zero. So you can see here for animal health minerals, I've got a combination of two transactions that make up that total for that month of August. So a couple of other things to note up here, you've got hide empty rows. This will hide any uh, of your chart of accounts that don't have any figures against them. So for example, these accounts here have got nothing on them, so I can toggle that on. You've also got expand or collapse all. So if I collapse all, you can see in the cash view, I'm concerned with the opening balance and the closing balance and the net cash movement between them. And the profit view, collapse all you'll see we're looking at the net profit here. So back to the date settings, you'll see this toggle here. You can choose which month you're going to select the actuals to be pulling in through from zero. So if I select actuals to none, what that will do is it will put it the month before the start of our planning year. So it's gonna put the month before July, which is June. So if I select actuals to none, you'll see I've now got a full years of forecast data that I can plan against. And I can go ahead and add any figures against these cells here. So you can do this by simply clicking into a cell and entering it manually. You've also got these tools down the bottom that can help you automate the process. So using the copy tool, you can choose to spread it across monthly, any figure that you choose, or you can spread it across compared to the total. So if I wanted to, the total to be a thousand, I could spread that across monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. And you can also adjust by a certain percentage here. We've also got this feature called the curve. So the curve, you can choose an expense profile from a previous year to match this proportionately to spread it across. So if I choose actuals to 2021, so this is last year's actuals, because I've based, based these forecasts off last year's actuals and I select this and I choose to spread across, let's say 8,000, so just above the total here and I just click spread. You will see it has adjusted those numbers proportionately. You've also got the account schedules tool down here as well. So what we've been doing is just entering data at a summary transaction level. But if you go into the account schedules, you can enter this in a detailed transactional level. So as you can see on the account schedules page, you've got every single forecast that's been entered against that account for that year. So you can go ahead and enter or add a forecast transaction. And you'll see here that you've got a few more details to enter towards this transaction. So you can have a transaction date, a payment date. You can enter notes against it. You can also have a quantity um, and choose. You can have a per unit amount for that, uh, for that total there. You can also select non-cash transactions. So that sums up our video today. If you've got any questions, you can always reach out to us through the green chat bubble and we'll be happy to help.